Hi everybody, I'm Marin Alsop. I'm the chief conductor of the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra, and I wanted to share 10 things that are going through my head when I conduct a performance with a great symphony orchestra. The first thing I'm thinking about, even before I step out onto the stage, is the tempo. The pulse of the piece has to be perfect. You know, there's just that right tempo, so I'm already trying to feel it as I'm walking out on stage. Before I begin, I'm trying to feel the quality of sound. Because with each piece, I need to create a sound world, not just for the musicians, but especially for the listeners. As soon as I start, I'm trying to feel the connection to the musicians and to the sound. This is really critical because when I'm really connected, then we become one unit. I'm constantly thinking about breathing, about the natural quality of a phrase and where one would need to breathe to make it feel completely organic. I do a lot of analysis on the piece I'm conducting. And so I've done a dynamic analysis, meaning I know where the loudest points where the softest points, that kind of gradation, where they occur. When I'm in the concert, I'm constantly shaping the piece to arrive at the loudest moments and to really, really exaggerate the quietest moments. To me, it's really important that the narrative of the piece come through. You know, there's a story behind every piece. Even a Beethoven symphony that's not programmatic has a story. And it's my job to tell that story. So I'm constantly working on finding the beginning, the middle, the end, and the moral to the story. What's the payoff for the listener? It's really important to me that every piece I conduct somehow convey the architecture of the composer's intent. So I'm constantly thinking about the shape, the bigger shape of the piece while managing all the details. It's my responsibility as the messenger of the composer to make sure that the performance is compelling, that it has impact. So I'm always looking for the extremes in the piece and how to convey those. It's amazing how important the audience is to a performance. I don't think we talk about it enough, but each performance is different because of every single individual in the room. While I'm conducting, I'm feeling the energy, the collective energy, the collective focus from the audience and trying to channel that into exactly what we're doing. Every orchestra has a completely different personality. And I love to try to build on those personalities. So in the performance, I'm trying to really play to their strengths. And so, you know, if they have a fabulous first horn or first oboe, I'm trying to let their personality come out and really collaborate with those players. And very occasionally, I think, oh, what will I eat when I'm done? But that's rare. <laughs>